Wait, my friend. Let us talk before we confront prayer. The ancient memories become clearer in my mind with every passing moment. We follow the same path as the heroes of legend. Kunzari, Anequina, the betrayer, they all walk these steps to reach Jod's core. I see the truth of the myths and legends. Kunzari tricked Caldrontid into storing the might of the dragons in Jod's core. Then, the heroes of the Krajan lured them into the halls of Colossus and sealed the doors. Yes, he murdered Kunzari and then came to this temple to gain the power to move the moons and open the way to Jod's core. You see? The path only appears at the moon gate of Anequina when the moons are aligned, as in an eclipse. True, but he died before they locked off his head. The betrayer was the greatest warrior of his day. If it comes to a battle, it will not be an easy one. There is an apparatus in the sanctuary, linked to the larger moon gate. That is what we seek. We are about to enter the place where the betrayer faced his greatest failure, where he died at the hands of the remaining heroes and moon priests. We must make sure history repeats itself. The shade of Anequina darkens with rage whenever I think about him. Even before his betrayal, she detested the man. He was vain. A great sword fighter, but full of ego and hubris. Perhaps that is his weakness, his pride.
I'm having so high scores. Activate the Indian Light Fight and Red Relic, and I will charge the Dragon Iron Horn. Thank you. 